can't make this shit up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the challenge. Your boy Robert here, YouTube on the budget. Back with another video. Uh, I'm about to head to where my box Chevy is at currently right now. Um, I'm gonna drop off this money so he can do the engine bay. He should have some paint samples. Um, yeah, he should have some paint samples. And uh, hopefully, dude, I like it. Yes. I hope I like it, put it like that, that's all I gotta say. Um, we are going to 6.0 in the actual box. I don't under, I don't understand, I don't know if I'm gonna go uh, turbo or not, man. I'm real iffy on those turbos, so I might just do an LS swap and just call it a day, trying to push as much horsepower I can out of it, put a Holly manifold on it and call it the freaking day, do a cam and lifters and all that other good stuff, so. I don't know. We have to see. Um, but ain't nothing promised, so you never know, bro. You never freaking know. Because I was real close to selling that damn freaking car. Um, but we finna end it there. Currently in traffic, man, as you can see, dude. Uh, I'm freaking exhausted. Uh, just mentally exhausted right now. That's why I'm probably talking like this. But yeah, um, I don't want to show y'all traffic, so I'll see y'all when I get there. Hey, this dude got my shit already taken apart, guys. Oh. Already taken apart. Jepon Sachiko. You already got everything taken apart, huh? Yes. And the pictures, remember the one part? I'm fixing it. Oh shit! Oh yeah. And then, and I got one, one, one sample for you. Oh, you got a sample? Yes. Damn, that boy is not playing. Damn, he's not playing. This part, remember, you know, this is the one part is well, well, I'm welding this. this oh, you welded it already? This section is ready. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, where the sample at? Oh, I got, I got Damn, it looks so weird without the freaking everything on it. Damn. That boy is not playing. Hey, did you bring the Bronco? Huh? Did yes. you? Is yeah. out there? Okay, we're going to see it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, perfecto. Oh, it's a little bit wet. I'm making the money. That's fine. It's dry. It's a little wet. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this is the, okay, this is the, the, the white and the, my pearl, remember? Pearl, the, the pearl this? you had? Okay. Uh, uh, is this, is this Spencer, I'm buying something, little bit for back the sample. I want to make a little bit. Okay. Like it, no one it, it looks good. It looks like that video I sent you. Yes. Looks so good. this is it like this? Yeah, this is good. Yeah. It's like almost like off white, not white white though. No, when the pores change, full, the color is white white. Look, this is the color. Oh, but when the pearl goes on top. The color is white, white. Oh, it's white. The, look, the it makes it like off white. The pork change, uh, change, change the, it to change off white. The color is not, this is the base look. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Body work is already done, right? <laughs> hey, I want you to redo my mirrors on that truck right there. And then you see the emblems? Yes. The emblem, I want you to redo it. The front emblem, the side emblem, the mirrors, the back mirror. I mean, I mean not the mirrors. The uh, headlights, yes. the emblems, and then the tail lights, and then the emblem in the back. Who, I want you to redo it. Who doing this? Uh, it's somewhere out of town. Okay, no, yeah. just we can do it, no, no problem. Yeah. Okay, look, this is the question. Payment just here, here or, or this, this 
Ooh. No. There to there, yeah. Because that's going to be negative. Yeah. 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 We doing this or the, or the guys, you said, you said they like a three liner or something black right here. Yeah, we're going to can, can yes. spray. It's cheaper. You guys do it? Yeah. Okay. It's cheaper. Because I, because if it messes up, we could touch it up. Yes. If you if you spray it, it's gonna to cost too much to nail. Yes. So the white, all here, uh, and yeah, everything else is negative, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everything else is negative. And this this part too is spend black. Uh. white too. What you think? On on the on the on the the single cab the truck is gonna be white. We can make, we make, can it, make white? it white too. Yes. Okay. White and maybe so far this black. It's look white and black. Okay. Like, like, yeah, maybe complete white. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And it'd be easier. So what you gotta do? Just sand it. No, some, some blasting, like the other. Oh, sand blast it. Oh and shit. Okay. Paint. Yeah, cause all this is gonna be negative. Yes. Yeah, all that's gonna be negative. And then uh, that's gonna be white. But I could cut back it. Just the top right, not no, the, no, the bottom. The bottom same black. Yeah, black. Okay. Well, here, can you paint the underneath black for me and then yeah. top white? Yeah. Yeah, do that for me. Uh, yeah. Not glossy. Uh, oh, maybe send a, like a bed liner for a spray. Bed liner, black bed liner, something. It's like a. Nah, no. just regular paint. Or regular paint. Yeah, so this is going to be white right yeah this, this is white okay and then well the whole thing is going to be a white, this is white too. yeah that's uh, look, you want it uh paint it or maybe only paint this section and, and you guys take it for yeah the more like this yeah and, and i'm gonna keep it and keep then we can do it all together yeah yeah, yeah perfect this. yeah that's good okay yeah yeah that'd be better it'd be quicker yeah and for the guys can work in more yeah more easy and, and he can put the motor in and, yeah, right here, paint it and, and, it's and, like, and when you do the whole car yes because before you do the car though i have to i'm going to get a roof a panoramic roof. You don't know how to do that, huh? No, no, no. no? Okay, I get it installed. Open it or open? It's gonna be a, a panoramic, like F-150, yes. the big roof. I'm gonna put a big roof on top. Oh, yeah, no, we can do it. Okay, I have my friends yeah, do it, pink yeah. things. Okay. Yeah, it looks good, Danilo. Man, you fast, man, appreciate it, man. Oh, uh, let's go see the Bronco. Okay. Hey, guys, so he's selling this Bronco. It's, what year is the Bronco? 1991. 1991. You want the key for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get the key. Yeah, the key. yeah, guys. So he already started on the the box, baby. Yes, sir. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited on the budget, though. We on the budget. Oh, that might look good. Damn. It's for sale, guys. 25,000 our best offer. 25,000 our best offer. Oh damn, it looks real good. Everything original, see? Yeah, man. Hey guys, 20. It's a silver edition, guys. 25,000 our best offer, guys. Ooh, the headlights look nice. Four by four? <laughs> hey, this bug look good. Damn. All right, so a 1991 Bronco Silver Edition, as you can see right here, it has been freshly painted. The bumper matches the uh, paint job. It's four by four. It has the grill that matches. He even got new headlights on here. You got color match mirrors right here as well. Even the door, uh, the things. Look how good it closes, guys. That's This is the 1991, and it closed better than the 2000s you have now. Look at this. That's perfect. And he matched the, uh, the actual door handle with that. The interior is immaculate, bro. It is immaculate in here. Everything is factory besides the radio, but you got automatic locks, you got windows, you got tweeters right there. Everything looks freaking good. You got a color match bumper. Damn, 
Man, this mud looks good, bro. Like, damn, should I buy this? Wow, it looks good. Door handle. How many miles? 85,000. So everything's new. What year? 91? 91. Damn. Is it a blue title? Blue title? Oh, you got paperwork for it. He got the paperwork for the mechanic and everything, guys. It looks, and hey, you can take this camper off, by the way. Damn, I, should I buy this? Sheesh. What y'all think? You got new tail lights and everything. Should I buy this and lift it or drop it? Hey, you got me thinking right now. Man, I like this motherfucker, bro, for real, for real. Damn. Got another one right there. Damn. All right, guys, so 25,000, our best offer. O OBO, so 25 OBO, so inbox me in my uh, Instagram, YouTube it on the budget, guys. And then look, that crap is crazy. I didn't know he'd do that. That is crazy. Yeah, guys, so hit me up in my DM, YouTube on the budget, man. Uh, give me an offer and then we can come holler at him. He said he got the uh, blue title and everything. This mug is immaculate, bro. Like, I'm thinking about buying this. What y'all think? Should I buy this? My wife will kill me. I do not need another vehicle, but I just like the way it looks because it's white. Comment below, man, but yeah. This mug is nice. Is the motor clean or is it dirty? It's clean, clean. Dang, I'm I'm actually feeling this, bro. Oh, it is. What what motor is in here? It's a 5.8. Yeah, it's the same motor that's in that. Uh, is that a Bronco or a? Uh, 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 K uh, K5. The other one? Yeah. I, I don't know. I thought that was a K5. It might be a Bronco. Yes. Somebody mechanic tell me this motor is this strong motor. Just the, the Bronco and the Mustang. It's got a this. It has a motor. motor. Yeah. Like you need some cooling, Chico. Huh? Yeah, he needs to put some hot water in there. Oh, yeah. I don't know, guys. Y'all comment below. Hey, but yeah, if y'all interested, man, please hit me up. Uh, hit me up, hit me up, hit me up. Um, he's selling it. Our best offer. 25K, our best offer, guys. So, hey, just shoot an offer, man. Let me know, and I can tell him, and we can make it happen. But I'm still thinking, man. Y'all comment below. Should I buy this? Should I buy this, bro? Like, I really, my wife would kill me. This mug is clean. I'm like, really? I'm really fucking with it, bro. Yeah, damn. My wife will fucking kill me. She will kill me. Redo this. Redo this. Redo this. This is not bad, but you see the tent is no bueno. Oh, yes. Yeah. We do that. This, I, I, I buy another one, take this off, Basuda. Yeah, but this right here. Yes. I need a higher clear, man. Yes. Eventually, you know how we doing the single cab with the, the red? Yes. I want you to do the whole truck like this. Okay. Not this year, maybe next year. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, next year, man. And it look good, both of them together. Yes. Yeah. All right. So um, let me know when you finish with the box, and I'll have my guys pick it back up. Yes. But, hey, guys, if y'all want, like, 
color match. So he's color matching the Raptor right there. You can see it in here, guys. So if you want color match, if you want your headlights done like this, I should have came to him a long time ago, but I went out of town. If you want color match, you want uh, anything, man, make sure you come to, it's called Texas Auto Body, right? Texas Paint and Body. T Texas Paint and Body. Everybody's been asking me for his information. Texas Paint and Body. In pa is this Pasadena? Pasadena, Texas, guys. There you go. Everybody has been asking me for that information. It's Texas Paint and Body in Pasadena. So, are, he's hey, all this is going to be gloss black? Gloss? For the Raptor color match defenders. So look guys, this is his information right here. You cannot forget this street. 929 Strawberry. That's easy, simple. So color match, gloss black, and orange in the middle. What about this? No orange here? Orange that. Oh, this is a 2021. Yeah, my, my neighbor has this same one. What you doing with this? Uh, this polish is textured black. You make gloss. Oh, gloss. Okay. Texture, gloss. Okay. Get past what you cook. Oh, there go your sand blaster machine right there. Sand blaster. Yeah, man. My neighbor has this same truck. Yeah. Oh, gloss black. So you're gonna sand all that and down? Sand it, prime it, and wet sand it, and, and make it smooth for, uh, make it gloss look. Uh, yesterday the helpers I mean, started the, taking the textures. Yeah, that's yesterday. crazy. Yeah, you did take the texture. Yeah, guys, so, uh, what's your name, Chico? Fernando? If y'all want anything done, Texas Paint and Body, Pasadena, Texas, 929 Strawberry Road. Tell them the YouTube and on the budget sent you and he'll hook it up, man. But yeah, if you want this Bronco before I buy it, I'm thinking I'm gonna get this VIN number and buy it, bro, because I like this mug. I ain't gonna cap to you. Hey, let me let me go talk to him real fast. I think I might buy this mug just to have it. I really like this mug. Let me see. Oh, the seat has to go back, though. Can the seat go back? Oh, yeah, the seat goes back, back. Dude, I might buy this, but... Dude, I like this, mother, bro. I'm not going to cap to y'all. I really love this damn Bronco, man. Y'all comment below, man. Y'all think I should buy this, bro? Comment below, let a nigga know. Love you though, bro. Hey guys, so this gonna be it. He already got everything off, so all he has to do is sandblast this. Uh, we're gonna can spray the uh, frame. The reason why we can spray it, guys, just in case it gets scratched or messed up, we can actually, um, we can actually, uh, how can you say it? We can actually uh, touch it up or whatever. So yeah, we're gonna can spray all this. And even right here, this is gonna be all white. So you see where that lip is at right there? That's gonna be white and up. Uh, we're gonna take it back to Kevin's, put the motor in here. Then I'm gonna take it to get the roof and then we're gonna bring it back. I have to get a new, hey, comment below if you know where I can get a new hood from. I have to get a new hood. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. Do y'all think I should paint this white? Or do you think I should uh, powder coat it black? Y'all comment below, let me know, man. Let me know, let me know, let me know. And so this is how, this is how he paints. So I just asked him, was he gonna paint this front part of my car? He said, yes. So look, he takes the door completely off guys and he mocks it off. So he paint, you paint the door handles, everything first and then paint the whole car. Sometimes, sometimes uh, take it off, paint it, paint it, and when you ready to paint it, put it back together. So sometimes, oh. sometimes paint the door jams and pull it on and, and just upside. So do, so do you paint the door jams and 
the inside of the door yeah, yeah. and then put it back together. Yeah, sometimes, or sometimes my body men tell me, oh, this is kind of, it's kind of, the whole thing. Oh, so okay. Anyway, we take everything, like the trunk, everything. Yeah, he had his roof done. But you would make this smooth, right? Remember this? This when you bring it, this is red. This the paint. Look, this. So this is how mine is gonna be. Yes, I need a scraper like this for I no can paint, cooler paint. On top of stuff, it has to be metal. We can paint it. Oh, paint it, put it in my paint over the other red paint. There's no right. So maybe this, some people. So you got a metal? Come out and my 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 water is not right. Okay. Okay. But you would make it all smooth. It's gonna be a little bond though. But yeah, you. Yeah. No. Okay. You said our metal for and then bond. This is. Oh, made for all metal. Okay. It's all metal. No, no. It's too much bond. It's it's not right. Also, like oh, you put that first for all metal. Is, is a a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, because my roof is going to be from here to here, though. It's going to be mucho grande. Yes. Okay. All right, man. I'll let you get back to work, Chico. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. Man, look at all that. But I'm going to try to buy that. Yeah, he's going to give me a good deal, man. Appreciate it, man. Okay, see you later, man. Alright. Man, I'm gonna try to buy that Bronco, bro. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> he just wants to take a picture of that title. My wife gonna be pissed. But I'm just gonna buy it, man. It's... I'm an idiot, bro. I swear. Sometimes I just do the stupidest shit. Alright guys, so I had to go to uh express signing uh when my driver Goofy when he was in Utah and I knew this <laughs> But I was just like F it. So he got a, I don't want to say violations because we didn't get tickets. Uh, but I'm going to just say violations. He got a couple of violations. One was for, he kicked the freaking fire extinguisher off the bracket. Like he put it back on, like when the dude said something, but they made a big deal. So they put that on my, on the violation, on whatever the hell he did, violation thing. Uh, he wasn't using, they, they didn't know how to use the Garmin E-Log, so they tried to blame that on us, but it was nothing wrong with the Garmin E-Log. The only thing was, it was out of date, but with that being said, it was still showing everything, so I don't know what the heck that was, but so I just told him to use his phone until he get out of Utah, and then he updated it, so that's done. Um, so the U.S., that... The U.S., the E-Log, the U.S. thing, uh, in front of your DOT, if you do over the road, it's supposed to have a U.S. because you drive in the U.S. Uh, the E-Log, the fire extinguisher, and then the, the triangles. Like, that's my fault because I assumed all three of them was in there, but it was only two. So it's some triangles. So when your truck uh, breaks down, you're supposed to put the triangles behind the truck with the hazard lights on. Um, I assume since I looked, I glanced in there, I seen that it had some, I thought all three of them was in there, but it was only two. So I just bought a whole new thing. So now we have five. Um, and then he didn't really say nothing about the tent, but I'm not taking the tent on. So I just keep my tent on until I get an actual ticket. Um, but yeah, so got everything situated. I did order an LED light, bro, but I guess I didn't measure right. Oh, I know that I know this is the LED. <laughs> this is the LED light, way too small. So I ordered a 3.5 uh, LED light, and I want to put that on the in the bumper above the license plate. Now the lights are bright, the headlights, but I just want a little bit more brighter because sometimes we do be well he be in the middle of nowhere where you don't have no lights no cars no nothing's coming and then y'all know if you having deers and all that stuff so i just want him to be safe and actually see so i did that i probably install that on the next video uh but now i gotta go oh shoot put a water now i gotta go to the storage uh they better change the oil before he goes back on the road he took this weekend and this week off so I'm finna go over there. He's gonna change the oil for me. Uh, I gotta go to somewhere to get the oil. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
Comment below, man. Should I get that Bronco, bro? Should I get that Bronco? That mug is clean. That mug is clean. All right, guys. Just got the oil. Low key, bro. Walmart has the best prices. I ain't gonna cap. Each gallon was. I would have spent one hundred fifty dollars. I would have went somewhere else. Easy. One hundred fifty dollars, bro. It was fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars thirty-two cent per gallon here at Walmart, and then at O'Reilly and all the other places, probably twenty-two per gallon. They didn't have the actual oil filter. Six dollars. Telling y'all, man, y'all gotta start shopping. Start shopping at Walmart, bro. Best prices. Oh, a B, a B. All right, so I'm done. Hit a head to the storage so he can actually change the oil. Shout out to my boy Juan. He got the reservoir. He's got the reservoir thing for me for the box that y'all see early in this video. So a huge shout out to him on that. Uh, because I didn't have time to go over that road. Like, it's all the way to the north side, so. It is a B in this motherfucking car, bro. This truck, oh my God. Oh, get out, nigga, get out. Oh, we finna open up everything. Let me open this shit up. Oh my God. I ain't for the best with this dude at all. You know, I'm allergic to bees, bro. Where he at? Come on, nigga, get up. Oh, that nigga in there, bro. Like, what's wrong with you, dude? Like, like, come on, nigga. Like, get your ass up, bro. Like, why would you do that? All right, guys, I showed the guy that does all my maintenance. Well, he's like my mobile mechanic. Look, I just did a burnout in this mug. It's dirt, but it didn't look what I did over there in a single cab. <laughs> that shit crazy. Damn, why my shit cut off? But I, um... But I, um... I actually showed him the single cab because he thought this truck was nice. You don't know nothing, bro. I said, let me show you a, a nice truck. So I saw my single cab. So they changing the oil. Shouldn't take that long. They're going to grease my fittings and all that stuff, too. That B is still in this mug somewhere, bro. Oh, God. I don't know where it's at, but we ain't finna worry about it right now. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't get bit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me show you where he's at. He's doing the grease fittings. You know, I guess I forgot to get cash out. I hope I can sell that thing. I should be able to. Um, but yeah, he's doing the grease fittings right now. So he's pumping up the grease fittings. Changing the ball. Yes, sir. I got to do this. Guy. I got to do this. Guy. Alright guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Got soaking wet at the last minute. One change is done, the greasing is done. Um, so yeah, that mug is ready to hit the streets when Goofy comes back to work. Um, yeah, still haven't profited nothing off this damn box truck. Still in the hole. Still in the hole, but it's gonna turn around, man. It's gonna turn around. In my own lane, doing my own thing. That's all, folks. Let's go.